Hey guys, welcome back to Pass Money Plan. I'm Alex, that's Kirby. Today we're going to be doing Twitter reacts. So this is the reaction for today. So this, when Kirby sent me this, it, sent, it felt like a direct shot at me and me always preaching. <laughs> and me always preaching, you know, cut your coffee cost. But, you know, he, he's got a point though. You know, coffee, you know, cutting out coffee can only save you so much so rent and car payments are the big ones those are the most important and it wasn't actually it wasn't a shot at you when i said that I, I i didn't even think of you but now that you said it now it's funny so yeah it, it makes sense it sounds like a shot at you but no that's that's really i used to be i used to be that guy that you know three dollar coffee you know two dollars you know egg muffin sandwich if i add that up if you add it up, 365 days is how much you save. All right. Truth is, most people don't go 365 days and do it. I mean, it may be some, you know, small percentage out there that go out 365 days and, you know, oh, cut the Starbucks, do this. I mean, you got options when it comes to building wealth. I mean, you can increase your income or you can lower your expense, but it's, you can make bigger headway by cutting out, you know, car payments. Uh, like, we I've talked about it many times on the channel about how I was deeply in debt. And the first thing I wanted to cut out was my $536 a month uh, car payment. So I just took every dime I had and I went, went to that. I went paying that, paying that, paying that, paying that. And then when it's paid off, then that people, people don't understand that's $536 a month that I get to keep every month and I don't have to pay. And that's why paying off debt is an investment. And it gives me a way bigger, you know, headway or way bigger chunk of money than sitting there trying to save on a, you know, three, five, you know, times a month that I went to Starbucks. Steve. But I was that guy. Was like, oh, but I did cut out Starbucks. I did cut out the little things. But the biggest part was cutting off big chunks. I mean, like consumer debt in general, I don't think people should be in consumer debt at all. I mean, yeah, if, if you have the money in your checking account and you just, hey, I just don't want people to have access to my, you know, checking account or whatever, yada, yada, I swipe it on a credit card, next day, pay it off or pay it off by the end of the month, whatever. But people sitting there, you know, financing furniture, financing cars, financing all this other stuff. Any, and I know everybody don't have the money and uh, have the options to pay a, cat, a car off, uh, you know, outright leaving the lot. But my goal would be to spend every dollar I have to hurry up and pay that off so I can get that, you know, five, six. Well, now people pay a thousand dollar car payment, getting that money back into my coffer so I can do something else with it. Do people need cars today? Yeah. It ain't like the 70s and 80s when they came out and said, oh, you don't need a car. Cars are luxury. No. These days, you know, especially with more houses being built up in royal air, rural areas, you need a car to get to and from, you know, different places. Do I believe you need a brand new car? Hell no. Do I believe you need to go get a use, new use off the lot? No. I mean, could you find somebody who just not using the car and pay a couple hundred, a couple thousand bucks to get a car? Yeah. But having a bigger, having as much as your capital that you can, that you can control by paying off big items of debt will put more money in your, in your little purse there to, push you on to do bigger and better things. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Um, especially, you know, I can relate to this because having no car payments in the beginning and no uh, and very little, small rental costs was a big factor in what helped me. Uh, you know, we talked about how I used to do like, uh, like the house hacking, you know, or like where we rented a two bedroom apartment for people and then when I got my house, I rented one of the rooms. Now my wife's bougie and she wants privacy. I, you know, I don't get it. You know, I was, I was trying, mm -hmm. I was trying to rent out the rooms to her cousins and stuff, but no, no permission. <laughs> but you know, it it really does help the cost. I mean, luckily the mortgage we have is cheaper or way cheaper than you know what rents are going for now. Um, but and that was just a matter of just buying before everything went up in Florida, but. Those are the big ones. Those are the big ones that's actually going to lead you to uh, having more money to invest with. You know, when you 
I, I didn't, you know, the, the car payment thing too, because, you know, you'll see people making 14, 15 an hour and they have a brand new car and, you know, that's just going to hold you back. It's, you know, your income has to make sense if you're going to finance a car and, you know, it, it's, it's just insane because people, they, they want to invest or, you know, when they hear about it, but then, you know, they have all this debt and really that's, that's, if you're starting out, like Dave Ramsey says, you, you gotta, I mean, Dave Ramsey says pay off all debt, but it's the big one that's actually going to be, that's going to be, be as a shovel rather than a, uh, what do you say? Spoon on the, on the topic. Yeah. But coffee still, all right. That's still a good one, guys. I can't don't, don't just, don't just throw it out the window. <laughs> if, you're, if you're a coffee drinker every day and you go to Starbucks, yeah, you need to cut that out. Yeah. Because, I mean, if you think about it, if, you know, five bucks every day for 30 days, 100%. that's, how much is that, Alex? I went to public school. How much is that? 150 bucks, yeah. How much? 150. Yeah, that's 150 bucks. So if you were, you know, somebody that's going out there and, you know, doing that every day, you know, 30 days of, you know, of the month, then yeah, you need to cut that out. That's still a lot of money over the year. I mean, that's almost $2,000 or $1,500 or something. I went to public school. Don't worry about my math. But um, but it, it's up there. It's, you know, between $1,500 and $2,000 a year that you get to save. But paying off that car payment that's $500 a month, that's, you know, $6,000 a year that you save. So if you cut off both, if you're doing both, and you cut both of those off, that's like between, you know, $7,500 to $8,000 a month. $7,500 to $8,000 a month, you only need $6,000 a year to pay, uh, fully fund or $6,500 a year to fully fund your Roth IRA. You fully fund your Roth IRA every year for the next 30 years that you're, of you know, of your working life. Then, you know, and that's getting a 10% return. Now you're cooking. Now you're talking, you know, High six figures, maybe even seven figures, right there. If you just went to with conservative investments, so using that shovel, getting rid of the, the big monthly payments, no matter what it is, furniture, cars, credit cards, that is the best investment that you can make because it will give you a lot more funds to use it to make more money, not pay off your car to go. Oh, I paid off this car. Everybody need a car payment, so go buy another car. No, that's not what it is. It's, Buy this car, pay off the car, and you ride it forever. You ride it forever, and then you use that money to do something else. Once you start seeing, I guarantee you, once you start seeing money work for you, you will be less likely to just throw money away. Because now you're seeing, oh, you will start looking at things a different way. Instead of, oh, I want this to be like, oh, you know how much money I can make if I invested instead of bought this? It opens your eyes to a, a bigger a bigger world out there. And, you know, people call it the matrix. But, yeah, it gets you out of the matrix once you start looking at money a different way. If you start looking at money as an investment or you start looking at money of how much time it's costing me to create that or to buy that, then you look at it a different way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, leave a comment down below. Share, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.